All right, thanks, Gerald. Nearly 20% of American household trash dumped in landfills is categorized as durable goods. That's like, you know, lamps, furniture, appliances, and a lot of that could be repurposed or even repaired. Five on your side's Kelly Arthur tells us about one organization here in the Triangle teaching people what has become the lost art of garage repair. Five on Your Side is dedicated to telling you about scammers, recalls, any troubling consumer news. But we also want to tell you about the good stuff happening in our community, like the Repair Cafe. Avery Whitaker's bicycle is broken. The back tire kept stopping. Sad news for a five-year-old who would rather be riding. I like ringing the bell. Avery is in luck. Her mom brought the bike here to Repair Cafe, an occasional clinic offering free repairs. I mean, anywhere from 60 to 65 percent of the items that come through the door today will go out working. <laughs> repair Cafe is an international effort to reduce waste by encouraging people to repair items they might otherwise throw away. Don Fick started a local chapter here six years ago. We are definitely reducing waste and so diverting things from the landfill but also extending the useful life of those items so that you don't have to go out and buy a new one. Uh, my name is Maggie Gibson and I'm having two antique lamps repaired. I didn't want to break it even more and so I'm trusting a professional to help me out with uh, bringing them back to life. The help offered here is more than a repair. It's a hands-on learning experience. It's fascinating. I'm learning about live wires and uh, complicated things that I've never seen before and it's very interesting. It's like a science class. Product manufacturers are very happy for you to think that the only solution is to throw away and buy new. But um, we, we push back against that and we encourage people to understand the items they own and then when they go out and make future purchase decisions, perhaps they'll do it with an eye toward repairability and longevity. I have a hunch that this will work if I plug it in now. How about that? I think the things that matter most to us when we're repairing them are those things that come with stories. They were my grandmothers and I love them. and. Uh, I want to be able to use them and enjoy them now. They have character and the history and soul, and I love that. And about all those repairs? People are learning new skills. We're uh, encouraging curiosity. Gibson believes she's learned enough to tackle her next repair at home. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. And Avery's ride is now repaired. And you can do this too. Experts tell us you just need a few tools like glue, screwdrivers, and pliers. Keely Arthur, five on your side. It probably feels so good to say, how about that, when it works? The organization is planning its 2023 clinics. To find one near you, you can go to repairclinicnc.org. I fixed a dryer one time. Such a sense of satisfaction. I love it.